Hi everyone, welcome back to Less Tax to Pay and our tutorial videos around cloud accounting solutions. Now today we're going to be looking at free agent and how to customize your sales invoice. Now this is just to give your accounting, accounting invoices just a little bit of a personal touch. So it's not something that majorly needs to be done but it's just good to know where it is and how you would do it and how you'd customize the email reminders when you send an invoice or send a reminder of payments due or an estimate and stuff like that. So just before I start, if you like, if you're new to the channel and you like the videos, subscribe to the channel, hit the like on the video just so it gives us an idea about the video. Also leave any comments if you want something else to be covered in, in the software as well, just so we can see where we need to go with the software and help the small business community like yourselves uh, to get this video, uh, these videos correct and get these software packages being used to the fullest of their potential. Um, so I'm going to start now. So we've logged into Free Agent. As you can see here, we're at the dashboard and we need to start customizing our sales invoices. So first thing we're going to do is look at the invoice templates themselves. So you would go up to the right hand side, top right here, and go to settings, and then you'd go to theme gallery. And you can see here that this is the themes that um, Free Agent allows you to use. So if you looked at the tranquility, um, and it gives you here if it's suitable for letterhead or if it's suitable for printed window envelopes. And it does that on all of them as well. So some are no, no, some are yes, yes. Um, some are yes and no. You can see that this one here is a simple theme, but it's designed, it can be suitable for both. Um, so it gives you an idea that you can choose a particular theme that you want to do. So I would say maybe use this theme here. So you click on it and it shows you the current theme, but you can change this as you go through, as you get more used to the software and you think, well, no, that actually doesn't suit me. So you can change it at any time. So that's setting the theme of the invoice. Um, what you also have is your sending email addresses. So manage the email address that is sent to or sent from. Um, so here you've got me. Um, you have to verify the email address. Um, you can also enter custom domain names. Um, so that's fine. That's where you'd have to do that. You can also add another sender email address there. We also have uh, the email templates. Um, so if you click on that, what it will do is if you haven't verified your email address, it says, oh, we need to verify and it will send you a verification email. Once you've done that, you then will have access to these email templates. So as you can see, it goes from um, to, which is the billing or contact email address on the customer, subject, invoice, and the reference number, and then it will also attach the PDF of the invoice number as well. And this is where you have the opportunity to change the text in the email, the content, um, to maybe a message that you have, um, or if you want to make it just a bit more generalized, or if there's a new product that you, or new service that you're promoting when you send your invoices, this is where you would change it. So you, this is a free text box um, that you can change and type whatever you need to type, and then all you do is need to do save new invoice template. You do the same on invoice reminders. Um, so you've got to add an invoice reminder here. So we've got invoice reminder and it'll give you right, how many days do you send the invoice reminder? So you say seven days after the invoice due date, but you can obviously change these two before. Um, you can send recurring reminders, then recurring interval after that, if you want to just keep um, notifying people until they've paid. And again, it's the same thing as this, the, new, the new invoice email. You just have a um, open text box which you can type in, make some things bold, put some bullet points in, um, and just um, make this a bit more personal to yourself, a bit more of you in your invoicing rather than using the automated system. You do have here on the right hand side, just so you're aware, some email tags. So what you have is you have the ability to add these in, and these are just merged tags which take uh, different amounts or different figures or numbers or wording from your system. So with reference to like organization names, so that would be the company name, um, the contact first name, contact last name. So it just gives you the ability so you don't have to keep doing personal emails. This will automatically make it 
um, personal by using these merge codes. Um, so that's what you have under the create invoice reminder and you can see here reminder for invoice reference send reminder seven days after invoice is due then you also have a thank you so we've now received your full payment against the invoice and, it, and uh, it's a thank you message for the payment again create what you need to create we're not going to tell you what you need to type um, that's down to you this is about a personal customizing the solution to be more personal for yourself and then you've got it that where you have a new estimate so if you if you're one that does a lot of estimates for your work uh, this is just a standard email that you send out for your estimates again type what you need to type in there so that's where you get with reference to the invoice templates of the email invoice templates um, you also have inside here we went through the theme gallery sending emails email templates price list and stock so if you have uh, common uh, common items that you sell you can set obviously a price list and you can add stock items and price list items so if you have a service so maybe for us it's accountancy and quantity one service so annual accounts uh, for a limited company base cost um, maybe I don't know a thousand pounds Create. So then when we come to do our invoices, we have an item there that we can say, right, well, that's what we charge as a base cost for any accounts. Then there'll be others on top, which obviously build up the invoice as needed. Um, like, for instance, the company's house confirmation statement filing fee. It's a standard fee that doesn't change. That could be a, a priceless item there. The accounts, the annual accounts, obviously, is a bit more um, bespoke because it depends on your situation. But if there's stuff that doesn't change in price, Put them as a price list item uh, it helps with creating invoices very quickly um, and then you can obviously take it from there now to access and see your invoicing if you go to work and then invoicing you can see here this is a list of invoices that are out and paid you can create and add a new invoice and it'll tell you which customer do you want to send it to what's the date if it's under the ci scheme if there's any additional text that you should be putting in um, email this invoice automatically using my default template email payment reminders if the invoice goes unpaid email thank you notes so you have these options to set these emails um, automatically if you don't then you'll have to do it manually so you do have to set these as an automated um, solution then you also have invoice dis discounts and PO numbers and if I go to create the new invoice can't use the macro because no billing email. Okay, so I've got no email address against this client, so that's fine. Um, and it allows me to create the invoice. And as you can see, it's, it's done my new theme, and it allows me to just add items in as needed um, with uh, the all the rest of the information that's there. Okay, so that's all we're going to do for today. It's just about customizing and making the invoice a bit more personal to yourself, with reference to sending out. Um, your invoice items, uh, sending out your emails, all that kind of stuff. So like I said before at the start, if you're new here, subscribe to the page. If you're not new and you're recurring and you keep coming back and having a look at these videos because these are a great resource for you, again, subscribe to the page. We're not looking to um, make these videos for no reason. These are to help. There's a lot of new regulations coming in with reference to reporting and these software packages are going to become more and more prevalent as we go through the year, as we go into next year and the year after. These are going to become so much more. And also with free agent, if you're a NatWest business customer, you get this for nothing anyway. So it doesn't actually cost you anything, but it means then you've got access to a, a digital piece of software that is moving with the times and makes your life a lot easier. So next time what we're going to be looking at on free agent is purchase invoices. So how do we enter purchase invoices into the system to obviously make sure that we're not just doing sales, we're doing the other side as well. So that's what we're going to be looking at at the next video with reference to free agent. So we'll see you soon. Enjoy the week. It's Easter week. So if you have a short week, enjoy your four day off if you've got family or other commitments. And we'll see you soon, like I said. So bye for now.